Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. Last Friday was my birthday and one of the things that my family couldn't wait to get me was a new pair of running trainers. Uh, it's become a bit of a joke at how bad the old ones had got. So I've got one here to show you this morning. Take a look at this. Very holy, falling apart, a bit pongy. It's quite embarrassing really because I have been running the streets in those the last few weeks. But I didn't want to let them go. They're comfy. I'm attached to them. We've been on many journeys together. But my family decided for me it was time to say goodbye. Jessica even wrote a rest in peace note to go with them. And then they've got me this wonderful new pair of running trainers for me to start a new journey with. And it just reminded me really of the new journey John Wesley started. We celebrated Aldersgate Sunday yesterday where John's heart was strangely warmed uh, and he started a new journey with God after that moment where he began developing the Methodist Church that we now know and that we love. So we're very grateful that he started that journey but it all began with that moment, that experience of God where the Holy Spirit came into his life, uh, gave him a new sense of grace, but also equipped him and gave him power to go on the journey ahead of him. And we forget, don't we, that John actually was raised in church. He was brought up in a Christian family. He knew the faith very well. He believed it, but he'd never really experienced God until that moment. Um, and it's that experience that spurred on that new journey. And it's a little bit like my story, really. Um, I grew up in church, Christian family. I knew my stuff. I believed it, but never really experienced God till I unwillingly went to uh, a meeting uh, where the Holy Spirit came into my life in a powerful and wonderful way. Uh, I met with God like I'd never met with him before and I had a wonderful experience uh, where my heart was strangely warmed. And I started my new journey after that moment where I began the journey into preaching and working for God in that way. Uh, but both, both stories started unwillingly attending meetings. I think both of us were probably quite happy with our situations, quite happy in the faith, uh, until God came in and did something wonderful in our lives. And we both started these new journeys. There are many people in church today that are like me and like John was before his heartwarming experience. They've grown up in church, maybe they know the stuff, they believe it, but never really experienced God, never kicked on to a new journey with God. And it's my hope, my desire for more people to have that heartwarming experience for the Holy Spirit to come into the lives of more people in our churches, in our circuit, uh, to give them that encounter with God where they get a deeper understanding of grace and they're equipped for the new journey ahead of them. Because God has got a new thing waiting in store for all of us. There's a wonderful passage in Isaiah chapter 43. And God is reminding the people of Israel where he's brought them from. And he says to the people of Israel, this is what the Lord says, who he who made a way through the sea and a path through the mighty waters, through the parting of the Red Sea. Remember where you have come from. And then he says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. God wants us all to start a new journey and I think we'll be starting a new journey in our circuit when we get back to it. I think it's going to look very different and it's the start of a new journey but we all need that encounter and that meeting with God to get us ready for that journey. I wonder where you are at with your journey with God. I wonder if you've had that meeting where your heart is warmed where you feel the Holy Spirit come into your life in a new way. If not, I will pray that you receive that uh, this time, right here, right now, because the gift is for everybody. 
I wonder what new journey God is calling you to go down. I wonder if he's setting a new thing before you. The important thing, and God said it in that passage, we remember where we've come from. Remember the past. Remember the foundations that were laid before us. John had wonderful foundations from his mother. I had wonderful foundations in my church and my family. But we've got to move on. We've got to move on to what God is doing next, to the new thing that God is preparing for us. We can't just stay comfy. We can't stay attached to the old way and the past. We've got to take the plunge and start a new journey. And to do that, we need God in a powerful, in a wonderful way to come into our lives, to get us ready for it. So my prayer for you today and for me is for our eyes to be open to what that journey might be, for us to encounter God in a fresh way and have a new heartwarming experience, and for us all to move forward into what God has got in store for us next. May God bless you. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.